welcome back to Cana. I'm Lindsay Downey. We hope you have all have a great Friday and are ready for a three-day weekend. And I'm Rachel Shepard. Today we have all your announcements, including a new This is Cana. Zoe, how's the weather going to be for the game tonight? Well, it might be a little warm outside when it comes to game time, but it's nothing that will keep our team from winning. I'll have the rest of your weather forecast later in the show. Gage, what sports updates do you have for us this fine Friday? I'll have all the current happenings in the wide world of Liberty North Athletics. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Gage. Let's get this Friday show started. Your net news starts now. Let's start off with your announcements. Students, if you ordered the Spirit Trio, please stop by Mrs. Plaster's room 812. You can stop before, during, or after school. Just do not interrupt class. Cheer is taking order for football schedule shirts. They are going to be $12 to $14. Please see a cheerleader by the end of today to order one. Juniors and seniors, National Honor Society sent out applications to all eligible students. Please check your email to apply. The following colleges will be here within the next few weeks, so make sure to go to Family Connections and sign up. Washington University, September 9th at 2.30 in the Counseling Office. University of Central Missouri, September 10th. They will be visiting during lunch in the lunchroom. Jury, September 11th at 10 a.m. in the Counseling Office. Now let's throw this to This is KNET. Here at KNET, we like to make sure all of our anchors know what they're doing, so we make them watch film. Okay, see, first of all, tell me what's wrong with that. Um, you're I mean, sideways. You're sideways. I mean, I think I, I, I thought it looked pretty good. Okay, what about this one? You're spinning. What, what, what even, what even does that do? You know, like you're not, you look so distracted. Honestly. I mean, I really was trying to get comfortable, and I just felt right. Okay, what's with the whole little arm shimmy thing you got going there? I mean, I didn't even think I. Do you really, really think I that's really okay? Think I really did that. Like, I just thought this was okay. Like, what about this? You're not even looking at the camera. Like that shows that you're not even trying at all. Like honestly, how are you, how is that even? I mean, good? I was, yeah. Okay, what about this? You know, you're not even in the camera shot. The cameraman literally has to go out of his way to find. I you. mean, give him a different view on sports. Like make make it fun. Like make it. Thanks, Gage and Drew, for that awesome This is KNET. Gage, how's the sports doing? Well, Lindsay, our Liberty North soccer boys played in some tough games to end the week. With the loss of senior captain Alex Trinidad, North fought Harbor lost with an end score of 1-0 at Park Hill on Wednesday. The boys played Oak Park last night, and despite playing hard through the first half, at halftime the score was 2-0. The Eagles turned it around and got one of the goals back, but it was not enough for the win. In other sports news, your Liberty North women's tennis team played Truman High School. On the varsity level, winning players included Mackenzie Thompson, Sullivan Nevins, Cami Porter, Emily Chapman, and Meg McConnell. On the JV side, winners included Zoe Darnell, Matea Contreras, and Emily Haley. In Ellen Volleyball, the girls lost to Oak Park in two sets. Tonight is Friday, which means we have a Liberty North football game at Kearney at 7 o'clock. Make sure to be there and wear camo. Actually, we're throwing it to an interview with Drew and Oliver Wade right now. That's right, Gage. I'm sitting here with senior football player Oliver Wade, and I have a few questions for you, Oliver. How have you been playing football? Well, Drew, I've been playing football about 10 years. How has playing Carney this week affected your guys' practices? It's been a lot better. It's just making us more urgency, getting us to our blocks right, finishing our blocks, and just, just getting better as a team and as a unit and as a family. All right. How excited are you guys for this game tonight against Kearney? We're very excited. It's a big rivalry between us, and we we know in our hearts that we got to get this W, and we just got to get got to get get what we got to get, you know. And for all our, our fellow football players, our varsity football players, twenty four seven. And now here's a promo.
right, well, thank you, Drew and Oliver. Make sure everyone comes out to the game tonight. That's all I have for your sports today. Zoe, what's the weather looking like? Right now, the temperature is 80 degrees, though we can expect a high of 93 and a low of 72 with sunny skies all around. Saturday will be partially cloudy with a high of 93 and a low of 74. Sunday, we're looking at sunny skies once more, along with a high of 94 and a low of 74. And to close off our three-day weekend, there will be a 60% 60 ch 60 chance of scattered thunderstorms with a high of 90 and a low of 73 on Monday. Back to you guys at the front. Everyone better be out at Kearney tonight supporting our boys in camo. Since we have a three-day weekend, we have lots of birthdays. Happy birthday to Andrew Cox, Jameson Crater, Jordan Bradford, Trey Grizzle, Emily Shoneman, Damian Larrabee, Brandon Homan, Noah Jackson, and the Head of Nutrition Services, Michelle Green. And your birthdays on Saturday are Alma McDonald, Courtney Bradley, Laurel Spear, the business teacher Angie Klein, and special services teacher Joe Morgan. Happy birthday on Sunday to Laurel Griffey, Jarrett Brandenberry, Gannon Sackett, and our wonderful lunch lady, Sheila Stick. And your Monday birthdays are Joe Anderson, Brandon Culp, and Hillary Albert. Also, be sure you are following at Knet underscore news on Twitter. We will be back and see you here on Wednesday. I hope everyone enjoys their three-day weekend. But until then, we'll catch, catch you on the north side. side.